What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new player review and today we're going to be looking at the Brazilian international on Manchester City midfielder Fernandinho. His first inform of the season picked up for a fantastic performance against Chelsea at the weekend. Personally I think he's more of a centre mid or CDM, wouldn't play him at too much at Cam because of his work rates more than anything. But getting into his information he stands at 5 foot 9. 3 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot, that medium high work rate like I say absolutely perfect for a defensive minded centre mid. His crew you're looking at the likes of Aguero of course his Manchester City teammate, Neymar Brazilian colleague and of course that pink Ronaldinho another potential Brazilian link there. On Xbox he's going for between 50 and 100k and on Playstation between 70 and 140 and when we get into those key stats and traits you can see his card is super well rounded. He's got 79 pace, 84 dribbling, 77 shooting, 75 defending, 85 passing, 77 physical and when you get into those in games he's blessed with amazing passing, 88 short pass, 85 long pass, 83 interceptions, 85 aggression, 84 dribbling which is also fantastic, 84 stamina, 87 vision and again he's blessed with the long shot take trait but personally I didn't have too much luck with his long shots, so I didn't think they were that amazing despite the fact that I did score one, which you will see at the end. Getting into the team that I used him in, it was pretty much a mixture of three leagues, mainly BPL attack, and then you've got the uh, BBVA and Bundesliga defence, team of the season Farman, team of the season Matic also in there, as well as a silver beast that is Jefferson Montero, but um, nevertheless, in these five games that he played to me, he got one goal, which isn't the greatest, but five assists, and um, that speaks volumes about this card, because his shooting didn't feel that amazing for me, but his passing was absolutely sensational what this card is fantastic at doing is winning the ball back legging it up the field and just getting a pass away not only his short passing is fantastic though his long passing was also absolutely sublime for me and even though his short pass was 88 and his long 85 i still felt that they played better than that in game his passing i'd say was his main asset for me forgive me if i sound a bit quiet by the way it's quite late when i'm recording this but um yeah he's just awesome at charging up the field i mean that was an example of the poor long shots for me. He didn't seem that amazing, but this is what he's all about. Playing the ball in behind. I mean, the best thing he does is, he's a great example actually, picking the ball up deep and just legging it through the midfield. And look at this for an awesome pass to Aguero. Inch perfect to put his Argentinian teammate through. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite take this chance in, out off the post. But um, that is what you're going to be wanting to do with him. And when I spoke about his long passing being sublime, check this out. The one thing about Fernandinho's card, and this card in particular, he always feels like he's got a lot of time on the ball, and that's a combination of his dribbling, his passing, and his general vision, in my opinion. He always seems to have all the time in the world to pick out the pass that he wants to pick, and nine times out of ten, he will be making that pass inch perfect, like I mentioned just. But um, I really enjoyed this card. Overall, we are going to be giving it an eight out of ten. His standout attributes for me, his passing is absolutely sublime, fantastic at everything in the midfield, apart from his finishing. Like I said, we did score the one great long shot, which you'll see in a second, but his finishing isn't the greatest. His height as well, 5 foot 9 isn't the best for a CDM, you perhaps want a bit more height in there, but other than that, passing, speed, tackling, vision, interceptions, all that stuff is absolutely fantastic. I'd highly recommend you go out there and give him a go. Currently he is extinct, but I'm sure throughout the week he will become more readily available. If you did enjoy this video, like I mentioned before, it would be awesome if you would smash a thumbs up on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you've not already. We're actually just over 250 subscribers now, by the way, so thank you very much for all your fantastic support. I mentioned it in the F1 video that went out yesterday, but if you did enjoy, if, sorry, give me an idea is what I'm trying to say of what you want to see for the 250 subscriber video. I am thinking of doing a, uh, a setup and slash room tour. Let me know what you think of that. Whatever you want to do, apart from a q and I do want to save that for a later milestone. Let me know any ideas that you've got and put them down in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I'll speak to you next time. Nidja out. It would be superb, but if you don't know Sparwell at all, it is just such a fast track. This is a great example of it here. This one humongous straight, small kink in it, but still an extremely long straight. We get 